What is up, everyone? Steve, When Geeks Collide, with you once again. This time, it's going to be an unboxing and review for the entire Mar Marvel's Tri-Sentinel X-Men House of X uh, Marvel Legends uh, wave. Jeez, did I mangle that or what? But yeah, uh, I'm going to do the whole wave because I got a lot of stuff piling up around the house and I got to get it down. So... Let's go right away and get to it. So, we'll go in the order of the figures on the back. So, we'll start with Wolverine. Wolverine does not have a build-the-figure piece, so we will start with him. Uh, I dig the artwork. Uh, it's got uh, Wolverine and Krakoan. And, uh, yeah, got that newer x-men logo uh found these on the toy hunts i don't know if you guys were watching but uh found them and i you know got gene um so yeah let's uh crack this bad boy open shall we maybe or maybe we could read the bio with adamantium claws unleashed logan is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice in the fight for freedom of all mutants. All right. Pretty much the same story, X-Men wise. Let's just tear this box open, right? Come on. Right. So, body is, uh, looks like re a repaint of the X-Force Wolverine body. Let's, ooh, we got the head there. A little bit of a beard. Cool. So I guess this is the newer version of the brown Wolverine costume that we are all accustomed to. I guess the classic one. Uh, like I said, it's a reprint. Pa reprint. Repaint of uh, or reuse from the uh, Wendigo X-Force Wolverine. Uh Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, the House of X. Uh, I have not started reading it yet, but I will. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good Wolverine. This guy's pretty wicked. I do love these claws. Um, the thicker claws makes them look more menacing. Uh, he's got this face, and then he's got the little, you know, with the beard. I guess that's part of the House of X, Powers of X stuff. Uh, but yeah, no, you know, all the basic articulation, pretty, pretty good, kicks his butt, uh, I like it, all the joints are moving well, you can already tell, I'm gonna have some fun with this guy, uh, got the belt, you know, can't go wrong with the brown costume Wolverine, in a modern, uh, take on the brown costume, which I love, uh, let's quickly, uh, give him the old 360 treatment and we'll, uh, do our little, we'll do our ranking for him. What do you say, bub? All right, so there we have it. The House of X brown suit Wolverine, or I guess current, I have no idea. Uh, yes, this figure is a repaint, but it's a Wolverine figure. And we can't go wrong with a Wolverine figure, a modern Wolverine it's a repaint, yes, but it's a new take on the classic brown outfit. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. You know, it's a re repaint, but, you know, it's cool, nevertheless, or none to less. I don't know. Let's move on to number two, and that's uh, old Chuck here. All right, I'm next. Charles Xavier, or... Is he Charles? Is he Professor Xavier? Same. Got the new logo. House of X on the side. Charles Xavier. I think that says Xavier. Don't quote me. In Crack Owen. Same old, same old. He's first one for the build a figure. Second one in the uh, the uh, cross sell. Uh, so. Charles Xavier. Xavier reveals his master plan, one that will bring mutants out of 
humankind shadow and once again into the light there's the artwork great as always and uh yeah let's get them out all right so we got some hands got a finger got a, another finger uh, this is cool. Uh, he's using his powers. He's got the power effect glued to the back of his head and eyes shut. That's a cool one. We got the arm for the Tri Sentinel. And uh, yeah, let's get the new look Charles Xavier. Uh, very skinny. Uh, this body is very, very thin. Is this Pete's Spider Man body? I don't even know. So, yeah, he wears this helmet. I don't know the deal of the helmet. Back kind of looks like Robocop a little bit. But, uh, yeah, no, there's, like, nothing to this figure. Uh, he's wearing all black. Pretty easy, you know, all they had to do. Head sculpt. Couple hands. But, yeah, not much to it. Can he kick himself in the ass? This is a Spider-Man body. I'm sure he can. All right. All right. Okay, let's give him the uh, the good old 360 treatment, shall we? So here we have Charles Xavier going counterclockwise because when he was going clockwise, he kept falling. But counterclockwise, he doesn't. So whatever. Uh, yeah. So I I changed the hands and uh, you know he's pointing to his mind and he's pointing down at something. Uh, I'm just going to give this a 6.5. It's really nothing special. Like, there was a few figures in the wave that I really wanted. And everything else, I was just kind of like, eh. But, you know, when it came, uh, push came to shove, I figured, you know, might as well build the Tri-Sentinel. Because I have Nimrod and, you know, I, I did get the uh, Haz Lab uh, Sentinel. So, might as well have all the Sentinels I need. But yeah, no. Six. Did I give him a six or a six point five? I'm gonna I'm gonna say six point five. Yeah, he's nothing special. Cool to get a new character, a new version of Professor X. The head sculpt's cool. This is pretty neat. But at the same time, there's like nothing to it. It's literally just a black uh outfit. So yeah, let's uh move on to uh Marvel's Omega Sentinel. Here we go. Krakoan, Omega Sentinel. House of X, Omega Sentinel. Great artwork. Figure looks pretty cool. On the back. Harnessing the power of enhanced sensors, flight, and nanite regeneration, the Omega Sentinel dispatches enemies with ease. Again, not too familiar with the Omega Sentinel. Clearly part of the House of X storyline, which I, like I said, I have no idea what it's about. I've not read it. All right, we got the uh, torso for the Sentinel. Right there. This little tray here. I'll keep all the other accessories in. So we got the head. And the interchangeable arms. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, wow. I'm going to be honest. Uh, this is a figure that I did not have any interest in. And uh, getting it out the package looks like this all new. I would, yeah, no, I think this is all new. Yeah, pinless technology uh, goes all the way pretty high up. Uh, you know, ankle pivot is meh. The foot, okay, there we go. There we go. 
But yeah, no, uh, very cool. Head sculpt is cool. Got another head here too. Uh, yeah, no, great looking figure. It's pretty original. I think it's all original, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't watched other videos about her, but yeah, no. Let's uh, let's cover the 360 treatment, shall we? So I switched up the head. Oh, and she fell, of course. But I switched up the head, and I switched out one of the arms. Uh. I was just playing around with it before I uh, moved her over up, oh, and she fell again. But yeah, ah, definitely, uh, yeah. I, I to me the sleeper figure of the wave because I had no interest because I didn't know who, I had no idea who who she was. So like I I didn't really have an interest. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The next three coming up were the three that I wanted the most and then Cyclops at the end there uh, just because I thought he was cool the, the, you know um, these first three Wolverine, Charles and Omega Sentinel were pretty much not on the radar and uh, yeah I'm, I'm definitely digging it I'm giving this figure a 9 out of 10 because it's all new as far as I know it's all new sculpt and uh, like this more humanoid head is really cool it's making me really want to uh read the um story now and just to find out like more about omega sentinel and uh i know that kind of sounds pretty dorky but uh this is when geeks collide guys and we are dorks we're geeks but uh no uh yeah uh nine out of ten for sure and she's not gonna stand up so uh here we go omega sentinel let's uh move on to the next one all right, Marvel Girl, guys, oh my goodness, I don't know if this is her costume now in the comics, I'm assuming it is, but this classic Jean Grey Marvel Girl outfit, very cool, House of X, Marvel Girl, Marvel Girl, new logo again, look at the back. Marvel Girl leads her fellow mutants to the island sanctuary of Krakoa in a bid to declare sovereignty from humankind. Very cool. Let's uh let's get her out. Like if this if this is uh nope. I have quite the collection of these going, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if this is, you know, her costume, current costume in the comics, that's very cool. Uh, she's got this little plant here. I don't know the significance of that again because I have not read it. But believe me, I'm probably gonna start reading it once I'm done this recording this video. But uh, oh yeah, now I am an I'm a classic X Men fan. You know, growing up in the 90s, 80s, 90s, uh, big fan. And this costume here, uh, that famous, famous cover uh, from the end of the Dark Phoenix Saga with her and Cyclops on it. And very cool. Her knee, double knees, uh, pretty good. Uh, I, I dig it all. The mask looks great. Hair looks great. Um, she does have these high heels, so she's going to be tough to stand. I know that. Wait, let's just see. Huh, look at that. She's standing right away. And uh, she got the hands, you know, where she's using her powers. And uh, this plant that I have no idea what it's for. I think it's time we give her the uh, 360 treatment, shall we? So here we have it. Marvel Girl, and she fell. What else is new? What a shocker, right? Man. I knew from the heels it was going to be tough to make her stand. But, uh, you know, I'll just kind of hold her still for a second. But, yeah, no. Uh, right away, 
this figure another nine out of ten. Uh, perfect. Uh, you know, if it if it is her modern costume, very cool. But it's also checking off that box for you know uh, '70s, early '80s uh, Marvel Girl Jean Grey, and uh, very 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 cool. Um, I think the costume looks great. It looks very retro. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Is this, is this how she's, like, her costume now in the comics? Like, I don't know. But uh, to me, classic Marvel Girl. Very cool. 9 out of 10. And uh, let's move on. All right. First time ever in action figure form. Moira McTaggart. You know. She's been in the movie. She's been on the animated series. Been in the comics forever. Uh, I don't know the story with her. The artwork on the back. Very cool. Shows different versions of her. This one she looks like Apocalypse. I have no idea what that means. Through the course of many lives. And deaths. Moria McTaggart pursues justice for all mutants. Uh good for her <laughs> but yeah no let's uh let's get this open so she comes with interchangeable arms which is cool and uh normally i might be crazy and be like oh, i gotta get both so i can have both ways but i don't really you know it's more more of a Got the lay. Got a science book for learning. Oh, it's got like the X Men logo on it and an atom. You know, children of the atom. All right. Another one with heels. Great. She's going to be great to stand. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, right away, I see some reuse because, um, you know, the Mary Jane uh, or. Uh, Quinn Stacy, Mary Jane, uh, retro figure, but uh, no, very cool. Uh, I like the the head sculpt here with the glasses, lab coat, very very cool. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do a little change up. So we changed her up. I wish I can say that that was easy. Uh, it was not at all. Hello? But yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the uh, the easiest to get the arms off or to try to move this arm. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's the look there. That's her. Let's uh, give her the three six O treatment, shall we? Why did I botch that? Three sixty treatment coming right up. Man, when they have heels, it getting them to stand is the worst. So I put the lab coat back on. I like this look better anyways. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, it's not easy. But uh, yeah, there's more. Uh, I'm going to give her a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, the change in the arms thing is annoying. And it was tedious. But you know what? I do I do dig it. I'm glad we finally got one. Uh, Moira McTaggart figure. And uh, hopefully now that means that at some point we're going to be getting a Banshee. A better Banshee. Please Hasbro if you're listening. We need a better Banshee. And uh, yeah, we, we just need Banshee. Like, you know, Giant Size X-Men, he's the only one left. But uh, I'd prefer 90s uh, you know, yellow and blue X-Men suit. But yeah, 7.5, she fell. That's Moira. Let's move on to the Master of Magnets. Here we go. Magneto. That's what that says in Krakoan, believe me. Has of X. Using his powers. Great stuff. Magneto forges an unlikely partnership with Xavier in pursuit of a lofty common goal, the protection of all mutants. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get them open. 
This wave uh, actually is pretty surprising. I am quite fond of it. Uh, you know? Man. So this is like the third Magneto we've got. We've probably got more. Well, I guess there's been four, right? There was uh, two versions of the classic one. There was the... That old, old, super impossible to get uh, Toys R Us exclusive wave Jubilee build a figure um, there was that Magneto and then we had the black costume Magneto then we had ooh, we got the three heads for the Tri Sentinel then we had um, the the family ties box set with uh, Magneto and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch Wanda this is going to be loud I apologize all right, and now we got fourth version, which is this white costume, which I'm pretty fond of. You got the peg on the back for the cape. I find when you just leave the cape um, free flowing, it's a lot better. You know what? I'm pretty happy with the paintwork on this. Uh, I'm I'm a huge May Needle fan. So anytime we get a new version, I am down. Like the belt, got the X belt, because this is, I guess, an X-Men. He is an X-Men now, I assume. Again, I have not read. Around the time I was last reading comics, um, there was that guy Joseph that everyone thought was like a young man, you know. But yeah, no. Uh, you know, pretty standard May Magneto. Got some reuse, obviously. But uh, I'm pretty happy. Got some different hands. These hands here, you got the C-grip. Got the fist it. And uh, open like he's using his powers, but no power effects, which are lacking. But uh, let's take it and uh, let's give him a little 360 treatment view. You know what I mean. Same old, same old. Let's... let's uh, do that now so there we have it magneto white costume very cool uh it's just repaint and i know my ratings are probably all over the place but i'm giving him an eight uh out of ten just because he looks really cool and if he wasn't a repaint i'd give him higher because i love magneto and every time i see magneto i think of x-men welcome to die from the uh konami game but yeah no there we go Magneto. 8 out of 10. And we have someone speeding by on a car. Great. Anyways, we got one more left. Let's crack them open. And then we'll build the Tri-Sentinel. Here we go. Last one. Cyclops. In a new outfit. Clearly some repaint, but whatever. Got House of X. Cyclops on the side, Cyclops and Krakoan. The box is damaged, but I don't care because I open my figures. Cyclops assembles a team of mutants to destroy Mother Mold and vanquish the Sentinel threat. Mother Mold, eh? Let's crack him open. Oh, wow. You know what? Didn't even notice. But... In the back, he's in the uh, the artwork. I bet you he's in... Man, I didn't even check. I'm not going to go back now, but I'm sure everybody's in their own photo. But, uh, so here we go. We got Cyclone. Let's take him out. We got this head, which is repaid from the retro, but nothing wrong with that. We got the power effect. Very cool. And we got the final piece for the Tri Sentinel, which we will be building after we check out Cyclops. Uh, you know, no hands, which is all right. He's got the fist, which I I heard something that he makes a fist like this, and he can like fire um, his optic blast. But of course, we got the hand, you know, pointing. Boom, you know. Costume is very similar to Magneto. It's very similar to the other Cyclops, um, the black suited one, which was also in that 
uh, first X-Men uh, kind of Toys R Us exclusive wave, which I am happy to say I own. Um, but yeah, and pop the head off. Uh, there's a little bit of running the paint a little bit, but it's all right. And uh, I love I love the little effects. Very cool. Let's give them the 360 treatment. So there we have it, Cyclops. Boom, fell off. Of course he did because they always fall off. But no, uh, very cool stuff. Uh, man, I can't. Very cool. I'm giving him. Uh, I'm gonna give him a seven point five out of ten. Um, it's a lot of reuse. I know Magneto's a lot of reuse, but I just love the look of that. I love the look of this too. But uh, yeah, you know how many more Cyclops are we gonna get? Uh, but no, yeah, I, I I dig it still. You know what? Yeah, 7.5, 7.5, but uh, I love the effect, and uh, I just, very cool. This wave, you know, like I said, I wasn't super excited for, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've got so far, um, you know, with the exception of that Xavier. But uh, yeah, uh, let's move on to uh, the Tri-Sentinel. All right, so there's everyone else. Now let's uh, put this guy together, or well, this girl, or this robot. I assume it's a tri-sentinel because it's got three heads. Right? Am I right? Are they all, do they all go the same way, the heads? Okay, yeah, they do. Yeah, I don't know because I don't, uh, man, it's hard to get that into the hole there. Jeez. It's like the same thing I almost had to deal with with, uh, the G.I. Joe Classifieds, Classified, uh, Baroness bike, uh, getting the handlebar into the hole oh my god i had to i had to heat it up and just kind of warp the plastic while it was heated up All right. wow i got those heads in jesus And uh, let's get the leg on. Okay, wow. This is a... Oh, wow, this is a, a big mamma jammer here. Uh, again, I have no idea what the Tri-Sentinel is. Uh, but, uh, no, very cool. It's a cool Build-A-Figure. Uh, I'm sure if I knew what it was, I'd like it even more. Uh, you know, clearly everything looks like it's new. And, uh, yeah, no, that's the, that's the Tri-Sentinel, eh? Let's, uh, let's try to give it the 360 treatment. Oh, we'll see, uh, yeah, look, double knees, look at that. Pinless. Very cool, though. It's cool, like, I, again, I don't know what it's for, but... I'm not familiar with it, but I'm sure when I get familiar with it, I like it more, but let's give it the 360. So, this bad boy is not standing. Uh, it, it will stand, but once it moves, starts moving, it falls over. So, there's the heads. I could have to do it with my own hands, I guess. My own bare hands. Can you believe it? Like some sort of 
guy in the early 90s. But yeah, no, I, I dig it. Uh, for the Build-A-Figure, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I'm sure it'd be higher if I knew what it was. It's really cool. And again, another Sentinel to go with my HasLab Sentinel. So, yeah. So there you have it, guys. Another full Marvel Legends wave in the books. And, uh, yeah, no. It's, um, pretty cool. Oops. Uh, like I said, it was a sleeper wave. It was a wave that I wasn't really too sure about. Uh, these four were all I really wanted. But, uh, you know, if I just wanted to build the big build the figure, I could just grab those two, you know. But I dig the Wolverine. Uh, I like all of them. Uh, if I gave the whole wave a rank out of 10, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, some new characters we've never had before. Some costumes we've needed. Um, build a figure. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Guys. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Commenting and liking really helps us out. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that up there there's a sticker. Because I'm going to fill this up with stickers. We got Gene in that costume. And that's issue number 39 from back in the day. So, very cool. Or Marvel Girl, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, guys, again, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I try to answer every comment I can uh, or I see. And, uh, you know... Lots of toy hunt videos, unboxing, Marvel Legends unboxing, DC Multiverse unboxing, wrestling figure unboxing, so much more, uh, so much more content. Uh, we have a show, what's in the blank, uh, it's what's in the box, where we go through with collectors and they have their bins and we open it up. Uh, episode one is up. Uh, it'll probably pop up here for suggested videos. We look at Antihero SOS, Scotty O'Shea's wrestling figure collection. And uh, yeah, uh, so much going on, guys. And please, again, like, subscribe, share, even dislike, whatever. It's something. Uh, tell me why you didn't like the video. Tell me what I can do to make these better. Uh, you know, it's a work in progress. And uh, tell me in, actually, in the link, in the link, in the comments below, tell me which figure were you most disappointed with with this wave and which figure you were totally blown away with uh xavier is my biggest disappointment biggest letdown and i was totally blown away with the omega sentinel so yeah let's can you continue the conversation you can also find us on instagram when geeks collide we're on twitter at wgc network you can find us on uh youtube Clearly, youtube.com slash collide facebook.com slash collide Listen to our podcast, uh, anchor.fm slash WGC Network. We did take a bit of a hiatus. We're starting to get things rolling again. Uh, we might have an episode up by the time you are watching this video. If not, we will ha have one very shortly. And uh, also, if you can, check out Multiverse Legends. It's uh, my action figure photography Instagram. And uh, I'll probably be using some of these shortly. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, as I always say, geeks out. Have a good one, guys.